Hey guys, for this video we've pulled together the last few months of rumors and speculation over the iPhone 5. Now remember these are just rumors and nothing set in stone, so please don't think any of this is for sure happening. Recently we found out that Apple is holding its World Developers Conference June 6th to June 10th, which is in the past has been where Apple announced the past three iPhones all around the same time. Now we have a really nice infographic from Business Insider that was pulled up uh, a few weeks ago which you can see towards the end of the video after we go through uh, some details of the iPhone 5 features. And we'd like to thank them and Camelia Angelova, the author of the article, for providing what I think is the best visual visualization of the new iPhone. What I thought we'd see on the iPhone 4 is hopefully something that we'll see on the 5 because it wasn't on the 4, and that's cloud services. Basically what cloud services is, is being able to access your information, your data, your music videos, pictures from anywhere, any device that has an internet connection, uh, whether it be your phone, your computer, an MP3 player, whatever it may be. Um, there's also rumors that people with a Mac, your Apple, what you'll be able to do is with your iPhone, you can walk into your room and basically sync up with your Mac. Uh, now, to the extent of what gets synced, uh, whether it be music, videos, contacts, other things, we don't really know, but it'd be nice to walk into the room and have the ability to basically get all your information off of a computer or another device like that without having to actually sync anything up with cables. All right, and as far as the structure is concerned, uh, we're gonna hear we hear that the iPhone five is gonna be thirty three percent thinner than the current four. Um, there's no real word on the dimensions, but hopefully it's gonna have a bigger screen, uh, most likely wider on the edges. Um, and the type of screen that, you know, we're, we're hoping that Apple makes uh, a move towards the OLED or the AMOLED screens for better brightness, clarity, and battery life. Some of the recent, iPhone, some of the recent phones by HTC or Samsung are starting to carry 1 gigahertz processors. So to keep up with this, Apple is rumored to be equipping the 5 with dual A5 chips. So we'll see a tremendous improvement in benchmark tests. For example, the iPad 2 nearly quadrupled the first iPad's benchmark score, so hopefully we'll be seeing something dramatic like that for the iPhone 5. The new iPad 2 also came with HD FaceTime cameras, which I'm sure the 5 will definitely have. As for a backup camera, maybe higher megapixels, I'm not sure, but 5 megapixels will do enough. Anything else would be more than welcome. Now here's the rest of the Business Insider infographic that uh, we were talking about earlier. Uh, sorry that sorry that it's cut off a little bit, but um, if you want to see the whole thing, we'll provide a link in our uh, subject area. So yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully we'll get to see this phone in September.